Almost from the day of Prince Charles's christening... Every 30 years or so, the christening of a future monarch. Prince Charles was baptised at Buckingham Palace. His son, Prince William, in 1982, noisily followed suit. The service itself, always a private affair, coupled afterwards, however, with a brief glimpse of the newly christened royal baby and proud parents. For Prince George of Cambridge, photographs only will be allowed to capture the historic occasion. As long as Diana's little finger was in William's mouth, there was no crying. Kent Gavin was the man behind the lens the day only Princess Diana's little finger could keep baby William quiet. He also realised there was no planned photograph of the Queen Mother holding William, so he mentioned it to the Queen. She said, goodness me, absolutely right. Mother, mother, mother. Queen Mother comes out from behind the music room, puts her drink down, starts laughing. Diana gives William to, to, to the Queen Mother and this award-winning picture was taken of the Queen Mother laughing her head off with William and he's still crying his head off because... He, the finger wasn't in the mouth. William and Kate have instead chosen to christen Prince George in the Chapel Royal at St James's Palace. It is perhaps significant this is where Diana, Princess of Wales, as coffin lay for her family to pay their respects before her funeral. And today, for the first time since the 1899 christening of Queen Victoria's great-grandson, Edward VIII, four generations of monarchs will be photographed together. The Queen will be there because this is terribly important to her, to see not only her heir, but her heir's heir and her heir's heir's heir. George Alexander Louis will be dressed in a Honiton lace christening gown, but we'll have to wait until tomorrow before we see the historic photos.